Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Mega Man X8, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, let's just uh, reconfirm that I got pretty much everything I need for this final area. Especially like retry trips, pick prickle barriers, spare energy. Yep, I'm fully loaded. Tanks are full. Let's do this. Okay, I'm still keeping the uh, neutral buster part. Even though it might seem a little easy to just bring the Hermes parts as well for like matching set. You know, I think we'll do just fine. I am going to bring Black Zero again, as per usual. And as per usual, no navigators. So, this is it, the final level of the game. I was never able to defeat this level, probably because I never exploited that glitch. And, well, this level is absolutely hard. No joke. But we're in. Welcome to the moon, everybody. The only enemies you'll run into are those standard Reploid drones. And there's so many different types. One's on jetpacks, one's that throw bombs, one's that shoot flames, etc., etc. Yeah, just make sure that everybody's at full health as much as possible. Or, if not fully full health, but very close. Every little advantage is going to be crucial. Now, considering this level is by no means easy. Like, this is not the hardest part. We're far from there. Later on, we'll definitely come out to a really hard part. One that has admittedly kicked my ass numerous occasions. Okay, we're gonna run into a file for the last time. Get the Drift Diamond ready. Let's dance, man. Huh, this looks familiar. <laughs> so, you still refuse to give up your struggle, huh? Are you so blind that you've somehow convinced yourself that hope remains? As long as I'm standing, there's hope. I'll defeat both you and Sigma. Like old times. <laughs> I suppose it'd be a waste to just destroy you now. Why the uh, second high is capitalized but the third one isn't, I don't know. Maybe I'll wait till the last possible moment and have a little fun with this. Try and savor the moment? Alright, fair enough. I'll do just the same. Now when he's on the right armor, you're pretty much going to have to defeat, break the barrier before you can hit him with, say, the Drift Diamond. Because when he's on the armor, he's invincible. Apparently those sparks trace ya, that's very unfortunate. When he gets on the armor, remember, just hit a whole fully charged shot. Jump whenever he gets on it, because it creates an earthquake. Okay, this is almost enough. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch, just to give uh, X a little bit of room. A little bit more. Remember, this guy doesn't have any health. Just keep smacking him around and then he'd be done. Finally, we're done with Vile. That's the last time we'll see him. Thankfully. Okay, now we're almost at the part where it gets really tough. You'll run into some enemies that actually turn into Sigma himself. Like, there's two forms of Sigma you run into. One that uses the beam saber, and the other one that shoots like mini fireballs. Fireballs are actually shaped like the little zero virus you saw in X5, but because they're so small, you may not even notice. If you got the Sigma Blade, you can just hit them from underneath, and you'll have a superb advantage. Now this is the part where it gets absolutely asinine. Look at all these spikes. There's spikes everywhere. Not to mention, you'll be running into Sigma clones as well. You have to make sure you defeat them before you advance. Before you can advance, otherwise you'll find yourself in a bad situation, like getting picked off in midair. When that happens, then, well, there's little hope for you, because you might land on the spikes. Also, check these upper alcoves to see if you can find some health. If you do, use it. Well, that's just Gaming 101. Don't forget to take your time, because you never know there's going to be any spikes from just below. 
Believe me, I've died many times not knowing there were spikes over there. Just take your time with this guy. You don't want to take any stupid risks. Just hold on to that prickle barrier for as long as possible. I know I'm doing it the absolute pussy way, but it works. Sadly, when he uses those fireballs, they block him from attacks. So you have to work with that. Alright, so... Is it gonna be safe to drop down here? Yeah, you have to hold right. I thought as much. Okay. Now be extra careful. Uh, can I double jump up here? Whoa, well, yes you can, but there was nothing good except for maybe just weapon energy. Oh man, this is so dangerous. Whoever thought this stage was a good idea was on very potent drugs. I mean, look at all this crap you have to dodge. Okay, this part's easy as zero. Then you have to dash across... X! Oh my god, I made it! And I kept my prickle barrier. But you won't need it anymore after that, because those are the last set of spikes. I could never get past that part for the life of me. When's the door gonna open? Thank you. Okay, this hallway looks very ornate and important. Alright, let's advance. We're reaching the throne room. Yeah, this is the real Sigma. Welcome Looks like Shao Kahn on crack. It's good to see you again, X. Our meeting was fated, X. Our destinies come to a head right here, right now. The time has come to usher in a new age, and you, X, are an essential part of it. Yay, I'm special! Your dedication to what you refer to as justice is what first got me thinking. I realized the imperfection of this world, and decided I must change it. Don't blame me for your insanity, Sigma! <laughs> it's too late, X. The gears are in motion. There's no turning back now. My children were the ones, X. The new generation Reploids were the ones. My children are responsible for the development of space, mankind's life. Children? What are you talking about? The Jacob Project. The program that gave birth to the new generation Reploids. It was all my doing. The world that was birthed by that plan rightfully belongs to me. Excuse me? Now, X, you will be destroyed along with the rest of this decayed world. Oh, so it looks like the real Sigma wants to throw down right now. I'm game. And look at that health bar! That is ginormous! Okay, when you see these rings, you can just go right through them with a dash. And then when he teleports above you, move. Because he's gonna swing down with that sword. Sometimes you may not have enough time to do it, unfortunately. Yeah, you don't have to worry about any weaknesses here, just use your buster. Keep it up, dash through the rings, and there you go. It's all over. Okay, when you see that attack, get some assistance. Now, when he does that laser attack, don't hug the wall, because it's on fire. You can jump over those rings, thankfully. Like, the, the laser attack is easy, you can just stand right next to his feet, and damn, that was bad. Now he's even more aggressive. Got him! Impossible. How could you? You couldn't. Uh, if you're talking about getting all these medals legitimately, that would have taken way too long. Destroy the old world. No age. <sighs> okay, if you play this game on easy mode, this would actually be the final boss. In other words, it's not the true final boss.
Lumine? Huh, at least you're all right. Oh, Lumine, are you okay? Am I okay? Of course. Now that you've defeated Sigma, I suppose you're satisfied. Thanks to you, the plan has gone smoothly. What? But Lumine, weren't you just used by Sigma? Used? I don't think so. Maybe it's the other way around. He merely helped my plan along. The new generation reploids have been awakened. And the new world is at hand. So Lumine was using Sigma all along. So he's the true final boss. <laughs> yeah, I think now's a good time to switch out to give Zero a little bit more breathing room. Okay, as far as Lumine's weakness, it varies. Because he actually can use the hyper attack of all eight Mavericks. Luckily, even though he does a hyper attack, he's still vulnerable to damage. Unlike the previous Mavericks, you had to wait for the hyper mode to go away before you can do damage to them. I mean, I can just keep this up and I'll eventually do a nice bit of damage to Lumine. Okay, this time it's Avalanche Yeti. You can tell what attack they're going to use just based on the colored gem that, that they catch. Luckily, you can destroy the snowflakes. Still doesn't make this part any easy. Okay, that's Dark Mantis' attack, and I did not think I'd still get hit there. Okay, I wish those snowflakes would eventually go away. Okay, Gravity Antonian special. Ow. Now I gotta switch to zero again. Oh, move. Too bad I can't attack him in this attack. What was that, Optic Sunflower next? Gotcha! Took a nice bit of damage, but we got through the first phase. Yeah, there's another phase. Hate to disappoint ya. Lumine! What are you doing? Don't tell me you've gone Maverick too. Maverick? You don't really think that's the case, do you? That's why you can't finish me off, right? You don't have it in you. The copy chips we new generation reploids possess? They were derived from data from hundreds of old model reploids. That means, of course, that Sigma was also included in the mix. Do you understand what I'm getting at here? Copy sort of. Chips. Sigma? Does that mean that I'll go nuts like he did? Sorry, but prototypes like you don't have the specs to cause something like that. Besides, was Sigma really crazy? A little. He rebelled against your world, but he had his reasons. The rest of us new Reploids could turn like that at any moment. Oh, another cutscene. This decision to wage battle against the old world was made consciously. In other words, we possess the power to go maverick at will. <laughs> Do you really have what it takes to stop us? You're merely tools of the humans. Tools of the old world. You think you can stand up to those of us who have evolved this far? We can try! <laughs> Look at those eyes! It's like a the mini rainbow. Therefore, it's only natural that evolution take its course. Now line up to be exterminated! Single file, or...? Don't let him get to you, X. He's the enemy. Enemy? Ally? This issue isn't so black and white. Reploids, along with humanity, have irrevocably changed. But we're gonna make you black and blue! The nature of their existence has also changed. 
You are not needed in our new world. You can babble all you want. But we're not gonna let you get away with this. This is not my final form! Does this not remind you of Mega Man Zero One? All right, the true final boss, Lumine. Let's do this. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man X Eight. Take care of yourselves. The finale will be coming up soon.